hey guys welcome back to code engine youtube video channel uh, uh, in this video i'm going to show how to control the visibility for the lightning components for both uh, standard and the custom uh, lightning components based on the filter criteria you can uh, hide or show the lightning components on the ui and uh, yeah before getting started uh, uh, please subscribe to our channel in case if you're not yet subscribed and uh, uh, stay tuned for the latest videos yeah so if you see here this is my developer edition and uh, we are in the case uh, list case list view uh, so we'll go to any case record and uh, detail so if you see uh, i have one custom component so this solution you can use it for you know uh, you can use it uh, for both uh, uh, like custom and standard components so basically i want to uh, hide or show this uh, lightning component based on some certain criteria right so click on the settings here click on the edit page yeah so uh, you know right so you have a standard and uh, uh, custom uh, lightning components here you can drag and drop into the uh, lightning app builder at any point of time so now i'm going to detail section and we have uh, lightning component here and if you see here uh, set component visibility this is basically uh, you're telling the system that uh, show this component only uh, uncertain criteria i will add on filter based on not case number based on origin so if it is phone then only i am going to uh, show the show this component on the ui yes yeah so uh if you see here uh, the case origin is already phone for this uh, case so in this case it should show the uh, lightning component as per our uh, filter yes it is showing here and if i don't want to that i will just make uh, sorry not case origin as an email and i will uh, uh, save the record then go back to the details and see that lightning component is not visible so because of our uh, filter criteria over there let's go back to the app builder and see that yeah yeah as we have this filter criteria then uh, it will not be uh, visible for other than uh, the phone phone and there is one uh, you know there is one uh, uh, concerns here you can add uh, only 10 filters in this uh, um, uh, lightning app builder for now as of now uh, uh, we got only uh, 10 filter uh, uh, conditions in case if you if uh, like you know if you want to add uh, uh, the filters more than 10 then you can go for uh, uh, formula fields yeah so we'll just quickly uh, create one formula field for this yeah select to type as a formula click on the next button so give that it will return the boolean checkbox basically it will return uh, true or false okay so we will give that component visibility go to next yeah so in the formula section we have uh, uh, is pick value uh, it is a default uh, pick list value related formula then we can put it So what is the field we are looking at is the origin, right? So I'll just get that uh, exact field name. Yeah, this is the field name. And uh, so I'm basically checking the value.
from in this case we will add one more condition it is email so in parallel we will remove this one we will save that so there is no uh, criteria in the app builder so going back to the screen so uh, we are telling that if uh, the picklish value is phone or if the picklish value is email then this field basically returns true value so i think yeah check syntax well click on next button and uh, yeah visibility i'm not going to change anything message time admin here okay and uh, so no need to show this formula field and any layouts click on save button so our formula field is ready but now again go back to the case page go to the detail section select your component and in the filter criteria i will make uh, my new field component visibility is a new field which i have created and uh, if it is equal to true then done yes so i will click on this and uh, go back to them so instead of adding uh, uh like multiple filter conditions in the app builder and uh, if your business requirement is like to have more than 10 filters then uh, you can go with this approach so for email and uh, phone we have given that uh, to display this and for web we're not going to display anything i mean uh, we are hiding uh, uh, the filter uh, the component you can see here so and uh, another condition is for phone it should show the yeah this is working yeah pretty cool right so yeah thank you for watching this video guys and uh, uh, please subscribe to our channel and we will be exploring uh, uh, many things on salesforce and if you want us to try something uh, uh, some new feature right please put it in the comment section at the bottom so we'll uh, definitely get back with uh, the new videos thank you thanks for watching this video bye bye